My name is Brent Holden. I'm the president of Heimer North America, and welcome to our Hustex 2019 booth. It's pretty cool here to be doing a live uh, demonstration of what we have here at the booth, and we're going to kind of walk you through and show you what's the latest from Heimer. <laughs> so basically, as many of you know, Heimer's focused on a lot of uh, the management of the tooling and the setup of the tooling in the tool room. So we're going to focus on a few products like that so that we we can basically show you the most efficient way in the modern uh, world, if you will, to, to set all the tooling up. So first, we're going to show you our tool holder balancing machine. So the tool holder balancing machine allows you to balance the tooling uh, very fast and efficiently so that you make sure that every time the tooling assembly goes to the machine, it's truly balanced. So basically, this is the machine here. And what we're going to do is just quickly show you how we would measure the tool. Now, this tool has been measured, so we're, we're basically just confirming that it's balanced. So you see it spins. It identifies where the tool's still a little bit heavy, but as you can see, the, the actual holder assembly is balanced. So this was a very quick and easy, we just displaced weight via balancing rings to bring the tool within the balance. If you scan over here, you will see that the results show us that we are balanced to uh, 20,000 RPM. The green is good in this case, that we truly are balanced. So along the lines of balancing, I'll just quickly show you something that kind of puts it more in something we can all relate to. This is just a real simple balancing wheel. So basically, if you can imagine, my arm is the spindle of the machine. If I rotate this, it's rather smooth. So that's very nice. You might be able to see it spinning. But if I just take a 30 gram weight and add it to the wheel and spin it, it really shakes hard. And that's what's happening if your tooling assembly is unbalanced on the machine tool. Now, what's the options? You can simply slow it down, and now it's not so bad. But you're basically giving away potential productivity. So our goal is to remove the unbalance to make it even so that you get a very smooth running, uh, efficient machining process while still um, getting the maximum metal removal rate that your machine is possible to do. In fact, it's kind of a funny story I'll share quickly. We, uh, uh, one of my colleagues at Heimer Turkey brought up a pretty interesting story. He said, imagine that you bought a, a Lamborghini and you paid $250,000 for this machine or for this car. And then you started driving on the highway and everything was great, you're running smooth. Uh, you get up to roughly 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, everything's fine. You get to 80, 85, and the whole car starts to shake, rattle, and roll. If you went back to that dealer and said, hey, I just bought this $250,000 car, and I get up to 80, 85 miles an hour, and it's not running smooth anymore, if that dealer told you, well, just don't go faster than 70, you'd be pretty upset. And honestly, that's kind of what's happening in today's world with the machine tools. They're very expensive investments. You want to get the maximum metal removal rate you can. And so we, we want to give you the tools to do that with something like our balancing machine, where you're going to confirm every time the machine, uh, the tool holder assembly is balanced every time. So with that, we'll move over to our tool presetter. Uh, we make what we call the Heimer Microset presetters. We're going to move right over here. This is what we call our biolinear machine. So again, presetting is all part of the efficient method to, um, to bring a tool within uh, the shop into the machine with, with the quickest, easiest way. So this can be done while the machine tool is running. So you're presetting a tool very fast and efficiently. So with this, we made it very simple. So this is our biolinear. And all we're going to do with this machine is we're going to hit measure. And we're measuring a six fluted reamer. So if you can scan over here quickly, you'll see it comes into position and starts the measurement. It's all automatic at this point. Uh, hands off, I'm doing nothing over here, so it's literally just measuring the tool, each flute, one at a time. And that was our goal with this. We wanted it to be fast and efficient, but we also want it to be easy to use. The software is extremely intuitive. You don't have to be a software genius to run this. And of course, it's very accurate as far as our construction, which is a key. We use what's called the ISS spindle. It actually clamps on the tool holder as it's held in the machine tool spindle. So you get very accurate results when you're checking run out, if you're setting boring heads, uh, anything along those lines. That being said, we've got presetters at all kinds of different levels. This is one of the higher end presetters, but we've got real basic level tool room presetters or something that can be out in the shop floor. To give you a perspective at Heimer, we, we uh, produce over 4,000 tool holders a day. So a very high production environment. We probably have 11 presetters out throughout the course of our production because we feel it's very important 
to have presetters readily available at the machines and easy to use. We also do use lasers on our machines, so they kind of go hand in hand. Some people think that if I have a laser, I don't need to preset. We like to preset offline while the machine's running. You can always confirm things with a laser or use it for edge, uh, edge wear, et cetera. But, uh, so here, the tool's been measured. We get our final results. And basically, we just look at what's happened. Did everything fall in tolerance? Yes. All the edges of the tool fell within our tolerance. So we can confidently say, OK, tool's measured. We can either send the data direct to the machine tool. We can write an RFID chip. We can print out a HQR code tag. There's lots of options at this point, or even just print out a label. But this is then able to go to the machine tool uh, very effectively with no errors. So now we're going to walk over to another part of our tool setup is the power clamp shrink fit machine, Industry 4.0 we call it. So it's around the corner of the booth. So again, there's a lot of talk about data and how to manage the data. So we're thinking about that too here at Nimer. So what we've done is we've basically come up with a method where we can scan a tool and now through the QR code on the holder it tells me where to position this coil in this case to one inch I bring the inductive coil down press and hold the button and now I can remove the tool in this case it's an extension so it's an extension made of steel one of the nice benefits of shrink fit is that you can put steel into steel, so you get very deep reaches. And how we cool this down, we have circulating cold water going through these cooling bodies that will cool down the tool within about uh, 30 seconds to a minute. And while that one's cooling, we can actually go to our next tool. This particular machine is also outfitted with a height setter, so you can set your Z-axis dimension, which allows you to uh, make it very fast and easy. So in this case, I think we were setting it to 200 millimeters. So we get it dialed in based on the gauge. You might not be able to see it, but I'm basically dialing in this simple height gauge to 200 millimeters. I'm gonna scan this tool. And this QR code also gives us the options of giving data here. What should be the height? Uh, how long has this tool been in service? How long has this tool been in the spindle? All this is related to the movement of the Industry 4.0 setup of tooling in the tool room, which is something we're very focused on. So in this case, I'm setting the tool. I heat it up. And then I bring it and it springs up to the stop. So now what this has done is it set this tool exactly to 200 millimeters. In this case, I will go ahead and get it out of the way since it's starting to grab. When I cool it down, that will be exactly at 200 millimeters. The next chain of events would be to bring it to the presetter I showed earlier to actually get your final Z axis and X dimension, and then bring it to the balancer to confirm that it's still balanced as an assembly. Meanwhile, that first tool that I did when we came over here is already cool. So here, this was upwards of 300 degrees Celsius, but now it's cool, both the extension and the holder itself. So the beauty of ShrinkFit is the reliability and the consistency of the process. That's the number one reason why it's become so popular. Everyone in the shop sets it the same, whether they've been there for two weeks or 20 years. You get great runout accuracy, great gripping torque, great balance repeatability. You can do extensions, a lot of cool coolant through options. So really, uh, ShrinkFit has become kind of the standard for high accuracy tool holding. So now we're going to walk over to the final station. And again, we've got a lot of things set up throughout the course of this booth with some of our new cutting tool inventions. Of course, our reliable safe lock where you anti-pull out the tool. We actually have some shrink fit ER collets. And of course, our traditional Heimer 3D sensor, a very happy, uh, very uh, important setup tool. But we'll, we'll close here at the our modular system called Dual Lock. So Dual Lock's a modular system in which we can replace the heads of the tool. So basically, rather than uh, have a full solid carbide, we have small, uh, ex small cutting tools that can be put into either a dual lock extension, a one piece dual lock holder, or in this case, a dual lock ER collet. So where would this be used? This would be used in maybe a live tooling application on a lathe or, uh, or a Swiss turn machine. So it, it allows you to have very good uh, clamping, repeatable Z-axis clamping within two-tenths of an inch, great runout accuracy, and very rigid, so there will be no tool pulling out if you're machining. The other big advantage, if you look at the geometry of this cutting tool, which of course you can't see, but it's got setting cut, center cutting capabilities. So with this, 
we can maybe replace a tool. So instead of drilling and then reaming, maybe we come in just with this tool and we get a ream-like finish in the hole, which could be sufficient. So you save one pocket on your, on your lathe, which is so important. But again, the real benefit is just the ease of use and the repeatability of the Z-axis, so you're not constantly having a preset. And these little cutting tool heads are in, uh, available in many different sizes. Heimer's done years of R&D to make it the most rigid interface as it relates to uh, a modular system. So you can really get the same performance with a modular system as you can with a solid carbide. And that was our goal uh, with the dual lock system. So in general, that's, uh, that's the final uh, stop here. Here's the, the traditional Heimer Bavarian Beaver uh, to give us a yodel on the way out. But again, I appreciate you all tuning in here today. It's been fun to show you around Hustex. If you ever have any questions, feel free to contact us at heimer-usa.com or just give us a call. We'd be happy to work with you. Thanks again for your time.